What keeps me going is constant change. Changing climate, changing seasons, changing environment, changing relationships. It's grounding. that there are seasons going by and certain things have to be done at a certain time. Or you miss them. My husband and I are living on an old homestead. It takes the two of us to get ready for winter. He's first a farmer, though. And he's an artist at it. I'm an artist and I'm a farmer at it. I'm farming my art. My studio is a place of research and discovery. In a sense, it's a psychological space I step into. It doesn't need four walls. It's a place where I generate and respond to images and ideas. Forms, colors, contours, forces of energy. I think it's that seasonal thing of letting go, just that incredible way that those trees, when they have finished with their leaves, just let them go. Solitude. Making contact with changes in nature. For me, it's almost um, a weeding out process. Only the things that really matter get cast in the end. It usually is a process that takes about 24 hours. And I stay up the night looking after the, the kiln, making sure that the firing goes right. It's a quiet time. It's a preparation time, I suppose. The night is uh, calming. and. Uh, Everything is cool and tranquil, and then the, all those energies come to a boil. So it's 30 years now. I've probably done thousands of castings. But it still surprises me that it works, that, that things can actually be changed from one state to another. There are not too many people that follow the bronze casting process all the way through. Uh, it takes a particularly stubborn kind of person. It's a wonderful bonding thing that happens between 
uh, my family, I think when we cast it, it does excite the whole tribe and, and we all partake. My sons work with me on casting the bronzes. And then the fact that I'm actually doing it in the sand, close to the ground, and the fire is coming from the earth, all those things are just bringing me, I think, as close as possible to being um, a primitive human being in a sense, but also the opposite of that. I think that's what I love about it, is that I'm using something that's really immensely integral and complex, because it does entail a vast amount of uh, different elements that have to come together at that moment when you pour the bronze. It's not just that moment when the bronze goes in. There is a whole story behind <laughs> that moment. Yes! Easy, wasn't it? All that for two seconds. <laughs> Beauty. That went well, guys. Mm, yeah. <laughs> we did well. It feels wonderful. It feels great when that's over with because that's that's set there. You know, that's not that will last for seven thousand years at least. That's the minimum that bronze will last for 7,000 years.